Kingston University was once known for its training in aviation engineering, but this year sees them taking on a new challenge for the first time, building a green single seat racing car in just one year. A challenge that sees an idea go from this to this. Formula Student is Europe's most established educational motorsport competition, run by none other than an institution of mechanical engineers. Successful universities from across the globe are challenged to design and build a single-seat racing car in order to compete in static and dynamic events. America, Europe, Australia and this year, Kingston University. This car will represent the beginning of many and be remembered by Kingston University as Paramount, the first ever green e-racing car built by its students. Nevertheless, victory doesn't come easy, taking almost a whole year to complete, using 30 active members' constant attention and costing an enormous estimate of £36,000 to complete. This is uh, everything that you do in this project, no matter what angle you come in, is seen by, by potential employers as a very good thing because he's bringing up a lot of skills, life skills, people skills, communication skills, designing skills, manufacturing skills. As an engineer, that is what a potential employer is looking for. The most exciting part is to work in, with this team. Every member has something different. So it's very interesting to work with different people in order to build something. We're extremely excited to go to Silverstone. Uh, to a lot of people here, it's the first time they'll be doing something like that. Going to a race event as an spectator happens loads of times. Being in the pit lane with a car, racing a car, it's, completely, it's a completely different experience. I've done it before, but I've never ever been to Silverstone with something that I've built, designed, and is ready to race. Now, you may think a year is a long time for such a task, but when you're raising all the funds to support and build a racing car alone, things can get a bit tricky. Students are required to run like a company in sub-teams, such as design, manufacture, and electrics, only to mention a few. Starting in August 2012, and needing a car ready for testing by late June this year, Sponsors need to come on board, they need to come on board, they need to come on board now. We are two, the only two UK teams having an electric team, an electric motor, electric car that we're building. Now, the average person drives a car with an internal combustion engine. That is an engine that works with small amounts of fuel and being ignited in a small amount of space. But electric cars have been around since the 19th century. The Sinclair C5, a battery operated electric vehicle launched in 1985, was named the best selling electric vehicle even in 2010. However, even with the added benefits to the environment, these cars remain expensive and sponsorship for the parts has been hard to come by. It's hard. Okay, it's hard. It's a project that we started from zero. So, uh, it's very hard because it's something new for everyone. The hardest part of the project, I think, is the marketing side from personal experience. Uh, just trying to get the name out there, especially as we're a first, uh, first year kind of thing. So we're not very well known. So we need to have a big impact on the wider world and try and get people to notice us. We haven't got enough money. Sponsors that come on board, they can do either monetary donations or materials. We're looking for anything at the moment. The work on the car is continuous, meeting once a week to talk about progress and the rest of the time is spent working in groups to ensure the product is delivered on time. But the thing that attracts people the most is the fact that we're doing it for the first time. So anybody that's involved this year is a pioneer of this. This will be carried on year after year in this university. This is truly a remarkable project, a story of talented young people taking part in one of the world's biggest competitions in their academic area. If you would like to help and for more information, please visit www.kueracing.co.uk. This is a one-off experience that they can all be truly proud of. Now it's time for me to have a sneaky go in the car. This is David Kiaku, KBC News.